you know, up here is Orion, and it almost, almost can smell like Orion, but it doesn't quite, you know, the problem isn't with our stars, but probably, you know, with the Canadian wildfires that it really just took some of the appropriate smell and replaced it with, you know, the bad. But also it, the Canadian wildfire smoke affects, you know, the clarity of the stars and the scene or something. But uh, also I read that the smoke from the Canadian wildfires was is causing our um, global warming, it's causing our temperatures to soar so high the hundred, the hundred degree temperatures that we've been having, uh, that some places have had. See, here's the belt stars and run out of attack on a lamb and mantica at the top. I know sometimes it looks a little out of focus, but just here to the south, lower left most star there, the out attack got it fuzzy, yeah, is where, um, the Horsehead Nebula is to the south, and then the Flame Nebula to the north and to the east is the Reflection Nebula. And down here, close to it, is where the Sword in Orion is. You can barely see it a little bit, which has Mesier 42, which is the same as NGC. 1976 and M43 the running man to the north nebula which is NGC 1977 and then to the north of Orion up there above the shoulders a bit by about 10 or 15 degrees is measure one the crab nebula and then up here somewhere, let's see, there's Jupiter, and up here you can see the Pleiades, I zoomed in too far. And then over here in the northeast is our crescent moon. And up this way is Arega and Capella, I think. Um, Arega is the constellation and Capella is a star in Arega. There's Jupiter again. And up this way that's like Capella, the bright star at the bottom. But up there is um, Perseus, the ones that were the, um, this is where all the meteor streaks is coming from in our sky. And then up here is Cassiopeia, 
You can see Cassiopeia is almost, you can see all the W in her. It's that throne of the queen. And then to the north here, you can see uh, there went a meteor streak to the north. But here's um, the North Pole Star Polaris. You can barely see it. And up here is Kochab, the brighter star, the cup of the little dipper, which if you extend them, make the Kochab clock that if you measure off 44 some arc minutes away from Polaris in the direction of Kochab and put a dot there, that's where the true North Pole is. And everything else rotates one rev counterclockwise in the north because the eastern horizon at the Earth's equator is rotating one rev per day to the east. And in the south southern hemisphere is the polar opposite. But you can see all our stars of the Orion over here. They're shimmering and glittering. This is our eastern horizon. I don't know if they're in focus for you on this. I think I saw another meteor streak up there. I think it'd be neat to get them all. Maybe a better smartphone would be in order to make this image some meteor streaks better, but maybe one model two or five years from now or six or ten or something. Maybe that's when I'll be able to do it. Well, I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching this. Goodbye. I'll see you later. Bye.